Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I found this old video about, it's taken at least two months ago, when Amber was younger, it was her second time at a dog park, socializing with other dog. And she suddenly became quite scared of something. Initially, I thought it was hair because there was, there was someone um, brushing the dog's hair and hair was flying everywhere. But what it turns out was just a log. I found this interesting because when it comes to dog fear, uh, fearful response, there are different ways of addressing it. Some people would just tell me to leave them, meaning if your dog is scared of something, manage it. When they say manage it, meaning your dog never have to face their fear ever again. So if your dog is scared of a hair dryer or a lawnmower or anything loud, um, make sure your dog never see it again. The other approach is some people try to make their dog face their fear, meaning they try to really push the dog towards what they are scared about. And that's really bad, that's even worse because your dog will never uh, learn from that. You need to kind of introduce your dog um, whatever they are scared about positively. Being a bit skittish means she'll be more careful. She just doesn't just go for anything she doesn't know. Uh, this boy here might. What I did was using uh, my dog's play drive to help her overcome that fear. Yeah. What are you not so sure about now? No, not sure about the fur. Not sure about the hair. What's that? Huh? Ember is not so sure about the lock. What lock? <laughs> this lock. <laughs> My God! Suddenly she saw a log in the middle of the field and she's not sure about it and she got really scared of a log Amber, come on so I've decided to use her play drive to help her overcome the fear uh, that's not saying that I'm forcing her to face her fear or any way but just play around making sure she understand that the log is no threat Logs no problem anymore.